Hello and thanks for joining me for another session of Move Your Body and Speak English. Let's continue with shapes. So we've looked at a circle. I made a shape of a circle. We've looked at a square. and formed that shape in the air with our thumb. We looked at a triangle, a triangle. And today we're going to look at and make a, a pentagon. So it has one, two, three, four, five sides. That's the pentagon. So that's the shape for today. Let's go ahead and do some movement. Let's begin with shaking. Let's shake our bodies, shake everything out, any tension, let it go down to the ground. Think of it as leaving your body and, and going down into the ground, the earth. Shake, 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 loose. Let everything be loose and easy inside your body and on the outside too. Keep shaking and breathing. <sighs> Take a deep breath and exhale. And stop. Okay, so we will need uh, a, a, a pen, I just remembered, because we're going to make a circle, a little dot on our thumb. My pen is not working, so I have to go get another one. Actually, here I can use, I can use this pencil. So I'm going to go ahead. Actually, the pencil doesn't really. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I can make a circle, a little, or a dot on my thumbnail using this pencil and you can do the same. Both, both thumbnails make a circle on the right thumbnail and on the left thumbnail. And that's going to be our guide. We're going to look at that dot while we make the shape in space. So take a space, stand comfortably and Let's just bend our knees a little bit and lengthen them. Bend the knees a little bit and lengthen them and then do that again. Don't bend too much and don't bend too little. Just the right amount. Now soften the knees, just let them go and stand comfortably. So now with our thumbs, we're going to take one thumb and bring it up to the level of the nose in front of you. In the, in the in the midline and we're going to trace in the air the shape of the pentagon the five-sided shape the pentagon so here we go <clears throat> ready so we go across the bottom up on on the diagonal a little bit up the top diagonal down and then in to the back to the beginning point. Let's do that again. Make the pentagon shape small to begin with. And you want to be looking with both eyes at that dot. And you want to keep the head fixed. So the head stays where it is. And it's just the eyes, the two eyes that move and follow the dot when you make the shape. Here we go. And you're back to the beginning. Now we do it again, but we're going to make it a little bit bigger, the shape. So we go a little bit further on the bottom here. Go up. Keep following with your eyes. And back to the beginning. And go one more time, a little bit bigger. Make the shape a bit bigger.
and shake that out. Now we're going to do that on the other side. So take your other thumb, place it in the middle of you, in front of your nose, at that level. We're going to trace in the air the shape of a pentagon. Let's go. We're going to do it small first. Keep following with both eyes. And now we're going to make it a little bit, bit, bit bigger. And, it sh and we should begin at the start at, at the starting point. So I've gone off a little bit. My start point was here. So I, I should end here as well. Okay, so I'm going to start here and do it a little bit bigger. Keeping my both eyes on the dot. Okay, and shake that out. It can be a bit tricky to do it accurately. But it's really good for your eyes. And I hope you have a great week. We'll end right there. And we'll continue with shapes again next time. Have a great week. Bye.